Okay, so we're going to have a look at loops in this video, and there are two loops we can use in Python programming. The first is a for loop, which is uh, a loop based on a numerical value. Now, the numerical value we may or may not know, but when we run it, it will be assigned um, in the code in, and it will run X amount of times. So, to demonstrate this, I'm going to print out the numbers 1 to 10 on the screen. Um, using a for loop and a while loop. So we'll start off with the the simpler of the two which is the for loop and we just start out by typing the name of the loop, for in this case and I'm gonna have a variable called x and I'm gonna say for x in the range of 1 to 11 and then I'll just stick the colon on the, e colon on the end uh, and I'll explain what's going on here. So We've got a variable here, x, and we're going to say in the range of 1 to 11, so it's going to assign 1 into x, then run the code, then it'll assign 2 to x, run the code, and so on until it reaches 11. And once 11 is stored inside of x, um, it's going to stop. So to demonstrate this a bit more easier, um, I'm going to change that to 10. And then I'm just going to have the code here to be executed for this loop of printing the value of x. So if I go ahead and run this, we should see that uh, okay, save. it prints 1 to 9. And the reason for this is it will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it will run this code. Once x is equal to 10, it's then going to stop because we've reached this maximum number we've got here on the right. So if I wanted to print 10, I've just got to change this to 11. And we can see uh, the difference between these two is um, 10. So we'll give this a run. And you can see it prints 1 to 10. Very simple. And like I said before, the, you'd use a for loop in instances where you would have a numerical value based on uh, whatever's happening in the code. But that's how many times you'd want to run a loop. A while loop, on the other hand, so if I just switch to my uh, while loop code and I'll just delete this and start again. A while loop is based on a condition and the condition is either true or false. So with the while loop if we don't know the numerical value or we don't know how many times we want to run it but we do know we would want to run it if x equals true for example then we can use obviously use the while loop and as I go through and explain it it will be a lot more clearer. So I'm going to do the exact same uh, setup of printing 1 to 10 just so I can show the differences between the code because a while loop is a bit longer it takes a little bit, bit more uh, a bit more code and so to start off with I'm just going to set up a simple uh, variable called count and I'm going to set it to 1 because obviously uh, when I'm printing 1 to 10 it's going to print out the value of count and I want it to start at 1 um, I'm just going to enter two lines and start off again with the name of our loop so while and what you can do, there's two different ways of doing it. Uh, I'll explain the sort of bit of a longer way, uh, probably not as efficient way first, just so it helps you to understand what's going on. And to do that, I'm just going to add an extra variable up here called active, and this is going to be a Boolean variable, and it's going to be immediately set to true. So, what I'm going to say is while active, so basically that's saying while active equals true do this code and I obviously want to print count so if I was to run this now uh, as you may guess it will just print 1 indefinitely because active is staying true we've not told it to change the false so I'm just going to stop it there you can see it's printed uh, 1111 lines of 1's great so to stop this we're going to have an if statement saying if count is equal to and just like we did before this time I'm going to put 11 because once it reaches uh, 11 that's when it will stop and I wanted to print 1 to 10 so if count is equal to 11 um, I'm going to set active to be false and to increase the value of count underneath where we print it I'm going to tell it to increase count by 1 which is simply making count equal to itself plus one. I'm 
just going to put a line separation there so it's a bit easy to see. Give this a run and you'll see it prints 1 to 10. So as I said before, there is a simpler, sort of less coding way to do this. And that is to remove the need to have a variable um, for our while loop. So we could say, because really the value of this active when we had the variable there was true. So we can just swap that out for uh, the actual boolean itself and no need to assign it into a variable so we can get rid of the variable up there active and we can also get rid of this line here and I will replace it with something different so what we can say is while true uh, print count count is still itself plus one um, once it reaches 11 we're just going to tell it to break so whilst we've only got rid of one line of code this is a slightly more efficient way of doing it where we you know, remove the need to store one more variable and if I give this a run you'll see it does the exact same. So those were the uh, loops in programming. The differences between for and while uh, just to summarize a for loop is based on a numerical value again if we if we do or do not know this it doesn't matter whereas a while loop is based on a condition.